Hello, this is Haka Devine, and I'm here with SCP-148. I already forgot what this was called. <laughs> I think it's a telekill alloy. Right, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. I remember, SCP-148, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Revision 3. SCP-148 <clears throat> is restored as 120- as 120 cast ingots, each, each of which weighs approximately 10 kilograms at time of writing. Ingots of SCP-128 may not be housed at the same site as any SCP due to the potential for unforeseen interactions. Otherwise, the ingots should be distributed uh, equally among acceptable foundation facilities. The mass of each contained ingot of SCP-148 must be measured and reported in monthly. Under no circumstances should any SCP with mind-affecting or extrasensory pro properties come into contact with SCP-148. In any event of such contact, the immediate area must be evacuated and the affected sample of SCP-148 detonated remotely. Personnel are not to be assigned to SCP-148 for a period of time longer than three weeks. Any per personnel assigned to SCP-148 are to be given regular psychological e evaluations. Description: SCP-148 is a metallic substance, composed of a variety of known and unknown un un elements. The total mass of SCP-148 on hand is approximately 1.2 no, tons. SCP-148 has a gray-green color with a bluish is tinge and oxidizes readily in the presence of water. SC-148 has a melting transition point of approximately 4,500 degrees Celsius and a boiling transition point of approximately 9,000 degrees Celsius. SCP-148 has a density of uh, 6.20 grams per centimeter cube, no, 6.76 grams per centimeter or cubed, and qualifies as a as HRC39 in the Rockwell hardness test. Exhibits material properties such as strength, ductility, and workability, similar to platinum. SCP-148 is composed primarily of platinum and, and iridium. The two composing 62% and 20% of its mass, respectively. In addition, several other known metals are present and its composition, including iron, cobalt, co and copper, which collectively make up 16.5% of SCP-148 its mass. However, given the mass of the material, it is believed that there are other substances not, not detectable by mass but electrometry and or other means. Images of SCP-148 taken with a scanning tongue the microscope shows gaps in its lattice that under normal circumstances would be filled with other materials. <clears throat> SCP-148 blocks or otherwise hitter or extrasensory by affecting properties of living organisms in proximity to it. This effect, with the, while difficult to quantify, appears inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the subject to SCP-148 surface and directly proportional to the quantity of SCP-148 in consideration. The range for which this effect is detectable is roughly 0.8 meters per kilogram of SCP-148. <sighs> 1 1.1 tons of SCP-148 were recovered from the metal Metallurgical Department of Prometheus Labs of this facility. During the foundation sweep of the building, documents concerned with the project had unveiled that the substance was to be subject to additional development, sold to blank, trademarked, and sold as telekill alloy. However, due to redacted and its political fallout, Along with the destruction of the Prometheus Lab Space Facility, Blank has acquired an estimated 1.3 tons of SCP-148 and sold it to unknown buyers. Foundation agents and forensic accountants are in the process of tracking the remaining supplies of SCP-148. Hmm. <sighs> Due to its potential for use in contain 
and might have might not affect SVPs. SV148 has been improved for cross testing with SV objects. While tests are still in the early stages, tests with low a level of novice items seem to indicate that SV148 will be an effective tool in containing set objects. Never mind. However, it has it does appear to affect items whose noble properties are purely mimetic. Like 055. Addendum 148.2. Beginning in on the date, staff reported irrational behavior and poor communication skills among janitorial staff tasked with regular maintenance of SCP 148's containment. At the time, containment consisted of a single storeroom, swept and checked on, on a daily basis. After three weeks of increasingly abnormal behavior, two civilians were taken for questioning and examination. Testing revealed that the aforementioned personnel were incapable of interpreting body language and not appeared to notice the intonation or phrasing of sentences. In addition, the affected subjects were incapable of determining the emotional state or intent of others. <coughs> and demonstrated severely limited in vocabulary. Further testing has revealed that the language and communication skills of persons with regular contact or extended exposure to SCP-148 will, over time, deteriorate or disappear. It has been shown that after eight weeks, <clears throat> affected subjects will be rendered completely mute and incapable of understanding or giving nonverbal requests, commands, or other statements despite showing otherwise normal mental capacity. Addendum 148.3 A measurement taken on a, an unknown date a few months after the Foundation's acquisition of SP-148 indicated that despite no increase in volume, SP-148 has increased in mass by 0.1 tons, a density increase of, of 9%. The source of this additional mass is unknown. Instant report. 148 blank 1. To test the limits of SCP-148, its effects, and its capacity to change in mass, 49 kilograms of it was placed on the scale and moved to SCP blank's chamber. Predictably, SCP blank's redact was nullified by SCP-148's presence. However, the sample of SCP-148 began to grow in mass by upwards of 5 grams per second. After one minute, this rate it began to decrease, and SCP-148 ceased to increase in mass 40 seconds later, at which point it weighed 1.4 kilograms. It remained at this mass for 8 seconds for plummeting to a 0.8 kilograms in the space of 2 seconds. During this time, personnel within 60 meters, 12 times the effective range of, SV, of SCP blank, began to experience SCP blank's effects, albeit at a very vastly increased rate, resulting in data expunged. Locked down until the affected subjects could be removed. As was incident, SP-148 in any mind affecting items is contact between SP-148 and any mind affecting items is strictly forbidden. Addendum 148-4. <clears throat> Measurements taken since incident and 148 blank one, and indicate that. The combined mass of SV-148 is increasing at the rate of redacted. It is speculated that should a large quantity of SV-148 undergo a, a, an event similar to the sample used in, S, in experiment 148 blank, that expunged, continuing procedures are under review. So that was SCP-148, the telekill alloy. If you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. If not, then please stop wasting in about 10 minutes of your time watching videos that you don't like. I'll see you tomorrow.